Hi, it's Wasabi. Welcome back to the channel. Got a battle on the Runeberg map, and uh, it's Kaboom for you from Fiddy Clan. It's the first time we've had Kaboom on the clan, on the um, channel. Uh, he's platooning with Fury, uh, who's in a Pajato 46, and Kaboom's in the new Tier 8 uh, Czech Premium Heavy Tank at Tier 8, the uh, T56. Uh, looks like uh, Fury is heading to the field as a medium, and Kaboom as the heavy tank going to the centre. Uh, hopefully, you've seen the review on this tank on this channel. If not, uh, I'll put the link in below. Uh, as you can see, it's got a two shot auto loader, and he has loaded the premium round, which is AP. And just come to a position where you can fire up the centre road. And just fired that at a tank that went dark, so let's put two shots in to um, hopefully get some uh, blind shot damage there. But we can't see any damage there because the tank was dark when the um, shells landed, so we'll have to wait till the end of the battle to see what that happens. And mix that in 57 out there in the centre. And a Lorraine 40T, but uh, again, just wasn't loaded in time to take advantage of that. And can you get an outline of that Lorraine? He can. Can you get a damage shot in? It's just the roof there. What about the Amex? You should be able to get shot in. He's coming straight towards you. That was easy. Shot on the Lorraine. Just missed. Uh, dispersion on this gun is standard as 0 0.40, so uh, you're getting it down to about 0.35 with crew skills and... Uh, equipment so yeah long range sniping maybe not the strong suit and of course with AP rounds you do lose penetration over distance not that they would have failed to penetrate the side of a Lorraine 40T of course uh, in any case he's top tier in this game and it's a tier 7 to tier 8 game so shouldn't really have to use a lot of premium rounds so I'm not sure what he's doing here apart from the fact that he's guaranteed to pen pretty much any tank that he comes across and I guess if he wants to pen the credits well that's fine I uh, imagine he's got some boosters running just to help with that, of course. So you can see the um, average damage is 460 for these rounds, and so putting off your complete clip gives you an average 920 hit points of damage per clip, and you do that in 3.5 seconds. So as you can see here, he tucks into this corner, so if anyone's coming around the corner after him, he's got at least um, front armor to protect him. for a shot on that Lorraine but I think he's in the buildings now so yes he certainly is and uh, anyway doesn't exist anymore so no problem there fortunately Fury has departed the game as well he was up there on the uh, zero line but uh, looks like that yeah didn't pay off now Kaboom is running a mission here. It's heavy tank 6 for the object 260, so it needs to destroy 4 heavy or medium tanks, and Veronas get 3000 hit points of damage. So he's working his way on the damage total. He's got about halfway there, and he needs a kill, of course, here. Can he, you won't get it in this clip here. That VZ44-1, that's the tier 7 um, tech tree version of the new Czech heavy tanks. So you see quite a few of them in game at the moment as people are working their way up. I think it starts at tier 6 to be... Uh, I'm just not 100% sure. Now here you get a typical situation. You've got a nice um, shot on target there, but of course you don't have a round loaded. So always frustrating to have that happen. And he got lit as well, but no one was there to attack him, but um, they know he's here on the corner. And they probably think he may not have a lot of support, so wouldn't be surprised if a couple come around and poke at him. He's just spotted there, that's probably that object, 416. Yeah, you can just see the top of his um, tank there, so his commander's vision slots getting it. Now, that didn't land, but uh, he'll probably get this next shot in, which he does, and that gets the kill. So that gets him his first kill of his four target kills for this um, mission. I 
Now if you see a little bit of jumpiness, it could be related to the current um, ping issues. Um, so there is, yeah, some uh, delays that happening in a game that people are reporting. So I think we're seeing a bit of this in this game as well. Now will he get rid of the VZ44? He certainly does. Gives him two kills out of the four he needs, and again, don't forget that he needs to be killing heavy tanks or medium tanks. It's not going to get any joy out of tank destroyers or artillery or light tanks even. And is this VZ coming forward enough to shoot at? Not quite, but that's okay. He's not quite reloaded yet. He'll probably push around the corner and clip this guy. He's certainly got the um, the uh, rounds here. So first shot goes in, second shot goes in, and that's the kill. So that gives him three out of the four, and of course he's on reload straight away. Now, reloads really only about 22 seconds. Uh, I got lit there, and I thought that was the VZ in front of him, but no, it's Skoda T56 is pushed around. But that Skoda's now taken a fair bit of damage, and uh, he'll be clippable definitely, or in fact a one shot, I'm not pretty sure. You couldn't even low roll below that, so he just needs to come around and put one shot into him, which he will, and that's the kill. So he got seven of his premium rounds left, but um, that's taken him to 4k of damage, so doing very well here. Certainly carrying this game to a large extent. He wants to get rid of this last round rather than reload it. Fires towards the VZ, but that uh, didn't hit even, I don't think. Didn't see any message come up. Got a small amount of assisted damage out of that. I don't think that's what he was after, though. In any case, he's got his um, got his mission with that kill on the uh, T-56. Now he's got the... Oh, he's getting pushed on by the double barrel IS-22, and he should finish him off in preference to the VZ-44. Doesn't want to take any of the damage from the uh, IS-2. Take a shot from the VZ, which he does. And what he's doing here is quite clever. He just closes the distance to make sure his lower front plate doesn't get exposed. And just raising his gun here can both confuse the enemy a bit, but also cover your commander's hatch, which again is a weakness on this tank. And uh, he'll get one shot in. Will he get the kill shot? Oh no, the um, VK gets the kill instead. Well, that's fine. Um, I think Kaboom's not too worried about that. He's more interested in getting the damage. And he's got his kill target already. So 5.6k of damage now with that last shot into the super pushing that came around the corner in a hurry. I think he's probably regretting that. And Kaboom's just holding back while he's reloading. He'll start moving out. Get another shot in. Yeah, not a problem there. Select him on pretty low number of hit points. He'll just stay here while he's reloading. No, he's actually pushing out. It's going to come around the corner and support the VK. That's taken to 6k damage, so he's really carried this game was in the balance for a little while, but um, they're well in control of it now. And there's only three TDs left. And look, it's just been overtaken by Super Hellcat from behind, so everyone's rushing to try and get the last hit points of damage. Those guys who are back defending, in inverted commas, are probably anxious to try and get some damage. Because it's been pretty much on this side of the map, it looks like. And I don't think he'll get too much more out of this And he might get another shot or two in, so let's um, have a look at this, that SU-100. Is he going to get an outline on that tank? No, he's right below the... Um, oh, okay, just could get a shot in. Yes, he does, actually. And nice high roll there. Doesn't get the kill, unfortunately. But that takes him to 6 up and okay. I think he'd be pretty happy with the result there. Now just two tanks left, and there's only 1,100 hit points left in the game, but I think they're just going to cap out here. He's got the mission, I think he thinks uh, he might not get the honours if he doesn't uh, survive, so he's just going to stay on cap and win. And that Udus is looking like he doesn't want to reset cap at all, so he's probably hiding up in the corner. And I think they'll cap out before they find him. So that's the game, that's the win, 6.5k of damage, excellent result there for Kaboom. Let's go and have a look at the detail. 
So a not unexpected Ace Tanker Mastery Badge there for Kaboom. High Calibre Award. Looks like he got those blind shots in because he's done just under 7k of damage, 6.9k. So 5 kills and 500 of uh, assisted damage there. Blocked 640. Extensive amount of credits there. <laughs> we'll have a look at that later. Um, similarly with the um, experience so it would have been some missions and um, and uh, personal reserves I would say well, anyway we'll have a look at that got the confederate award, confederate award as well for damaging tanks that were then killed by his team looks like you can see the long list of tanks that he's damaged so in terms of the team 1791 base experience uh, excellent uh, result there um, the ELC of 90 who would have spotted there because he didn't do much damage but would have got some spotting damage um, the Scorpion who got 3.8k did well and uh, unfortunately the Fury who died early only got a few shots in with his um, Progetto but uh, it still came out pretty well in terms of the whole team performance so that was a good carry there for Kaboom and on the other side similarly the other squad T56 did over 3k um, double pretty much the damage done by any of the other team members so nice for that player there and um, unfortunately it would not have yeah got the same benefit you know if I had 24 shots all over overall um, 19 penetration uh, 19 hits and 17 penetrations out of that uh, the you can see yes he did have some personal reserves running and some battle payments as well from the clan payments so that gave him an this enormous um, credits total and even though he fired all his premium ammunition, um, he still made 227,000 credits, just absolute, yeah, monster amount. And there you can see also on the um, experience payouts uh, for personal missions and activations, so making 14k of EXP, also well, well received. In any case, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, please consider subscribing. We have more great content like this for you through the week, and thanks for watching.